Gigabyte's Flex Display technology automatically detects and connects up to four displays for the best gaming experience in multi-display Ultra HD. Click the link in the description to find out more. All right, so here we are, guys. Part two of new cables for Skunk Works. Now, I want to clarify. Clarify. We're, we're going to clarify this. These are done by Sanctum Sleeving. Now, a lot of you guys, especially on Instagram last night, were like, uh, "Why'd you ditch Lutro? What the heck? I thought you were all up in Lutro's grill." Sanctum Sleeving is actually an offshoot or a branch off of Lutro. One of their main sleevers actually started his own company with the blessing of Lutro Customs and Mike, uh, who owns Lutro Customs, who's now something else. They kind of had a, a split, a friendly split. So anyway, Sanctum Sleeving is the one who did this for me. Um, we're still good with Lutro, trust me, there's no issues there. So what this sleeving is actually different than the sleeving that's currently in the system now. Um, what's in here now, if you can kind of tell, is a plastic, sort of a nylon sleeve. It's very, very stiff. As you can see, it holds its shape, which can be good and bad at the same time. Uh, but, but these guys here, these are paracord. So these are actually a fabric, which are very similar to like what you would find on keyboard and mice that are sleeved. So it's much more malleable, much more soft. But the downside is, as you can see, they don't hold their shape as well as plastic. So when it comes to trying to route them, it's going to be a little bit more challenging, more zip ties may be needed, but I do appreciate the much more flexible nature of the paracord. So anyway, uh, sanctumsleeving.com, link is in the description. Their website may not be up at the time that you guys are watching this, but they're working on that. And they do everything from extensions, custom, full custom kits like they did here for the uh, 1600 watt P2 from EVGA. They can sleeve anything, guys. So definitely go and check them out if you want that custom look. But I've got all the cables redone here, all the PCI Express, the 8-pin EPS power, the SATA cables. I mean, as you can see, they even give me custom length SATA cables for this thing, so I don't have like this funkiness going on right here. So anyway, let's go ahead and get all these cables out of here and let's uh, get these things installed.
All right, so I've got all of these Sanctum sleeving cables put in. It's funny too, because the yellow is so bright, it kind of looks like we went from one cluster fudge of cables to another cluster fudge of cables. But there's actually a lot more airflow down here, as you can see, because my concern was airflow for the bottom compartment and the GPU rads being able to get the air out. Um, everything pretty much lined up exactly as I wanted, and I'm pretty happy with it overall. The only thing I'm not a huge fan of, and you'll be able to see probably in some B-roll here, is how the GPU cables are not laying exactly as I want them to. And the reason for that being is the paracord is, is not, doesn't hold shape like the plastic or nylon sleeving does. So because it doesn't hold its shape, uh, I can straighten it all out and put it how I want it. And then it kind of slowly starts to turn back how it wants to go on its own. But I guess I can just live with it. I'm being a little anal retentive, but then again, I have to look at it. And if it annoys me, then I'll probably sit there and continue to fight with it. But I do like how they come through right here and they plug in directly on the PSU as they're supposed to. I have not fired it up yet. For all I know, I could turn it on and it could blow up and get smoke and fire everywhere. That'd probably make a really good video, right? So maybe we'll do that real quick. We'll go ahead and move it over, plug it in and fire it up and see if we get the magic smoke. Transition. No, I'm trying to undo my lazy eyes. This one's always like. <laughs> okay, so we're hooked up. Uh, I've already turned on the power supply and we have lights on the motherboard, so that's a good sign. Let's just hope we don't get any magic smoke. All the fans are on. Pumps are going. Motherboard is posting. Do we get beeps? We need the beeps, the creeps, and the sweeps. <gasps> Hold on, we're stuck on a B64. We have a p screen here. This is actually normal for the EVGA boards. Yeah, I know. Every now and then it, it sticks on a 64 and then it will be like beep all by itself. Watch, watch. And go, go. Jacob fix this shit. There we go. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, now we're gonna do a reboot. Wait for it. Part of the issues with X99, man, I'm telling you. Now we should get a doot 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 doot. Wait for it. And 64 again. Anyway, we got power and stuff and it works. So I just got to find the USB device now that's giving it a hard time. We got new cables in though. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comments. Anyway, sanctumsleeving.com. Thanks for doing that, guys. These are uh, way more work then I have the patience to do, I can tell you that much. All right, guys, see you in the next one. There it goes, Windows. Yay, look, show the Windows. Show that it works. Show that it works. There. <laughs> it works. Yay.